Children as young as five will learn the basics of computer programming under a government plan announced today. Draft changes to the curriculum will see all primary school children learn computational thinking and how to use digital technologies effectively. The government says the new content will be compulsory by 2020 and it's spending $40 million to help schools and teachers get to grips with it. Uh, education correspondent John Gerritsen filed this report. Most primary schools don't teach computer programming, but some host after-school and lunchtime coding clubs like this one at Lyle Bay School in Wellington. So if touching, what's his name? Sprite Ball. Oh, can't do that. There are about a dozen children here, most of them 9 or 10 years old, and they enjoy coding. You can literally do anything. You can take a game and mix it with your imagination. I love it. You can do anything you want if you set your mind to it. Do you think all children should do this? Yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Because it's fun and you can also stretch your imagination and come up with new ideas. I think they should learn basic coding, yeah. By 2020, the government wants five and six-year-olds to learn the basics of computational thought. That means breaking down a task into step-by-step -step instructions, running through those instructions and correcting the mistakes. By the time they're 10, they should be able to write a simple computer program. Peter Duncan runs this code club. He says new tools make coding straightforward and all children should be able to learn it. You don't need to be a you know, mathematical genius either to do it. I think with coding it, it gives them more meaning, I think, for maths and, and science. It's given them a platform to, to say, all oh, right, if I concentrate on my times tables or algebra or, or, or whatever, I can use it with coding sort of thing or use it on that platform to, to make a story. Peter Duncan says the changes announced today will help New Zealand keep up with about 17 other countries that have already made coding part of their curriculum. The education system is outdated, it's 150 years old. It shouldn't be all about this is what you've got to remember, this is what we're teaching. It should be about the problem solving skills or, or you know, taking the data and filtering it in the way that is meaningful I suppose. And I think that's where that computational thinking is going to come in and help them filter it. Clint Chalmers is the classroom teacher here and an IT enthusiast. He says the proposed changes are overdue, but he worries teachers will not have the time, the expertise or the equipment to teach the subject properly. There's a lot of things out there now that are, that are run by programs that the kids are using all the time that they know about. So I think it's probably a few years overdue, but it's a resourcing. Who's going to teach the teachers? Where are they going to fit it into their curriculum? They're already saying now we've got a full curriculum and, and I just think the devices. The changes will also require schools to teach children how to use digital technologies well and include new achievement standards for the NCEA. Consultation closes at the end of August with the final version available for use from the start of next year and fully implemented in schools by 2020. For Checkpoint, John Gerritsen.